Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to export a text file from Rumi QWizard and then import that file into MATLAB so that we can plot it. So here's my Rumi QWizard file. I've just done a frequency sweep of my two speakers. The red plot is my right speaker and the green plot is my left speaker. You can see that they're slightly different there. So first thing I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of smoothing to them. I'm just going to select the plot I want to put smoothing on go to graph and I'll just put 112 smoothing on that plot and then I'll just do the same thing to my left speaker frequency response graph 112 smoothing so now you can see that the two plots are smoothed out I'm just going to show you now how to export them so choose the one I want to do I'll choose right first go to file export export measurement as text you can go to export all measurements as text, but I'll just show you them one at a time. So select that and it brings up a few different options here. So we can choose the different types of smoothing that it exports it as. Here we, we've got use the smoothing measurement 1 12th octave, which is what we've chosen. You can also export it as different smoothing options here, such as no smoothing, but we're going to stick with 1 12th. Next we want to choose the delimiter for our, our file. We can choose space and that just means it will put a space between the, t the three values that we care about. The uh, frequency response, SPL and the phase. I'm just going to choose comma there. So now you can see we've got a little comma between the frequency, SPL and phase. Hit OK on that and I'll just call that right response. Save that to the desktop and uh, I'll just show you that one more time for the left response choose my response I want file export measurement is text choose my smoothing options choose my uh, delimiter and then hit export there type left response save that to the desktop now I've got two files here, left response and right response. You can see this is a text file. We've got the comma separated values in there for the left response and the right response. So now what we need to do is import these into MATLAB. Okay, so now we have MATLAB open. I've put my two text files in my current folder in the directory, documents MATLAB. And we just want to import these into MATLAB just right click that and we can go to import data it's going to open up this window and the first thing I want to do is crop the uh, matrix here so it only includes the information that we want to import so I don't care about all this other text up here or the titles of these uh, columns I'm only interested in the frequency and the SPL so I'll just draw a box around that and you might want to make sure that it's grabbed all the numbers from the very bottom as well so this is all the numbers we're going to import up here we want to check that our column delimiter is set to a comma you've got space and tab and semicolon I'm going to leave it as comma and then we're also going to want to change the output type to be a numeric matrix so once we've selected that we can go to import selection import data and you can see over here in the workspace, we've imported left response. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for right response. Right click, import data. Select just the information we care about. Check my settings, comma as the delimiter and numeric matrix. And then import data there. Now we can close this window. So if we look at these two matrices, I double click on that, you can see we've got two columns. This first column is our frequencies and this second column is all of the amplitudes associated with those particular frequencies. So now I might want to plot left response. Let's do plot, oops, plot left response and we want everything in column one and we want
everything in column two. So if I just uh, run that, you can see we've got frequency and amplitude here. However, it looks a little bit strange and that's because we want to plot it in uh, a logarithmic scale. So what I do is I change plot to be semi log x. So that's just going to plot the x axis as a logarithm. We run that again. You can see it looks a bit more similar to our roomy q wizard plot that we had earlier. Okay, now I might want to plot both of those over the top of each other. I can just uh, now write, write response. Again, we want everything in column one, and we want to plot that against everything in oops, in column two there. So now if I run that, we've got our two plots over the top of each other. Okay, we might want to make things look a little bit nicer. I'll just do an X label. Just call that frequency. And I'll just put a Y label on that as well. Amplitude, dB. And then run that again. Looks a little bit nicer now. Great, thanks for watching, guys.